Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars The Old Republic PC build. This time we're doing a laptop as requested. Now I try to configure a laptop. There's very few places that let you do this. One of the places I have found is PC Specialist that let, is, let us do this. Uh, so the laptop I have chosen is the 15.6 inch Cosmos 3 which you can configure. Some of the parts you can configure a surprisingly low amount. Now I set the budget. The budget for the PC was around 450 to 500. This one we're maybe going 550 to 600. Okay, we'll set that as our budget. As you can see, we've got it here at 593, including VAT. We don't bother with the price uh, excluding VAT. Unless you can get some sort of VAT discount if you're buying it for business or something like that. You can maybe get it for 494 I don't know. Uh, but yeah, 593 including VAT. Fuck off, Windows thing. I don't know if that popped up on your screen, but really, I don't know why it did that. To be honest, I don't know why I want to change it back to Windows Basic. Go away. Right, so the CPU we have gone with is the Intel Core i5 dual core, yeah, dual core, uh, 4000 to 4210M, 2.6 gigahertz. It is a dual core with hyper threading, so it's two cores and four threads it can do as well. So that's going to be sufficient. The other choice that we have here, don't pick the Pentium, uh, is the Core i3, which does drop the price down to 558. Okay, including VAT, you ignore the top price. Uh, 558, it does drop the price down. Core i3, 4100M, again, is a dual core with hyper threading. 2.5 gigahertz, doesn't have the turbo boost. This has the turbo boost, 2.6, it'll go up to 3.2. So again, if your budget... You really are annoying me. No, ignore... Don't show this message again. Go away, Windows. We are running OBS on the desktop, so it's kind of fucking it up. Doesn't like to run on the desktop with Aero OBS. It really hates it. Uh, we do have Aero running in the background. So uh, for the uh, CPU, again, Core i3 or Core i5, it's really up to you. Uh, the difference in price is, what, 30, what, 35 pounds? Honestly, if it's me, I'm buying the i5. Okay, £35. If your budget can stretch to it, if your budget can't, don't buy the Pentium. Okay, the Pentium, no. Uh, Pentium is just a dual core CPU. Yeah, it drops the price to 517 but for 558 you're getting an i3, which is again dual core with hyper threading. Modern games require quad core CPUs. Dual cores with hyper threading run fine. Because they want they want you to run four threads is what they mean by uh, quad core. Okay, the hyper threading gives it the effect of two CPUs, so your Windows will still see it as four CPUs, but it is two cores and four threads it can handle. So it is you know it's still not quite as good as a you know a, quad, a four cores four threads obviously, but. Uh, Core i7 is not worth it. Look what it does to your budget. <laughs> Jesus. No. No, we don't want a Core i7. Core i5 is reasonable for our budget. We're getting a lot of lag here. <laughs> and we're only running the web browser. It's just OBS hates hates the desktop aero. Uh, for RAM, we've gone for the 8 gigabytes. We just took the cheap Kingston RAM. We had a choice. You can have HyperX Impact, but it takes up to £600. It's not going to make a huge difference. I don't really think it's going to make a huge difference. Again, we've gone for 8 gigabytes, one 8 gigabyte module. Uh, we could take 4 gigabytes and save a little bit of money, but 8 gigabytes is generally the way to go. Um, again, Swotor is a 32 bit game, so 16 gigabytes is just a waste of money if you're running Swotor. Is not, that's, did I say 16? I said 32. 32 bit game. I'm getting my numbers confused. 32 bit. 32-bit client, so it can't use any more than three and a half gigabytes of RAM. So eight gigabytes, it's fine. 16, waste of money. 645 takes it way up. We're well getting the eight gigabytes HyperX Impact. Do we really care? Will it make a difference? It's not a huge price difference. If you can go to 600, go to 600 then and get the HyperX. 
The GPU is a GeForce GTX 950M, which again, I don't know a lot about mobile GPUs, but it should do the job for us. If it's anything like the 750 Ti, then it should be fine. It's the only choice we have. There was another one, there was the uh, Cosmos 4, which was a little bit cheaper than this. It was 535 had a Core i3 Skylake and a GTX 940M. So, um, but it did have a Skylake versus that Core i3 there um, at 2.5 gigahertz. So 558 or 534, you're probably better off, I think. Getting a lesser CPU and a slightly better GPU, I would always go for. But going for it in the Core i5 configuration seems reasonable. Hard drive, we've had to really skimp on the hard drive, really. Yeah, 500 gigabytes, um, 5,400 RPM, can't get an SSD, look what happens, you put, put an SSD in it, and it doesn't shoot up that much, but bear in mind you're losing a lot of storage, 120 gigabytes. Uh, if you put a 240 gig in, you'll see here the price just jumps up. If you put an SSD in, you can put a Samsung one in if you want. Uh, put a five, put a nine sixty gigabyte in. Really smash your budget out of the water there. It's not really worth it. Uh, putting a terabyte in puts us up to six hundred again. Five hundred gigabytes. I wanted to keep it under six hundred. I tried to keep this under six hundred. We have to have a DVD drive. Normally, I just ditch that as well because who needs a DVD drive these days? The only thing I have changed is the thermal paste. Now, gaming laptops do get a little bit hot. It is nine pounds to add to that. So you can take that off and get it for 584, but I think I'd take it. I'd take it. It's gaming laptops, you know. You take a look at it here. This is the actual laptop that you're gonna get if it ever decides to load. There you go. You can see here, very limited cooling. You know, it's got the usual USB. It's got three USB 3 ports and one USB 2 port is pretty much standard. It's got a lithium ion 6 cell battery. You can have two of them if you want, an extra 50 quid. I don't think it's worth it. To be honest, it does have your uh, gigabit LAN, your Wi Fi as well, wireless gaming 802.11n. It's got Bluetooth as well, so you can put Bluetooth devices in it. Um, I haven't included a mouse with it because I wanted to keep it under 600 pounds. We could put a cheap mouse in for five pounds and put it up to. Uh, if you want a gaming mouse, it's going to cost you a shit ton of money. You want an MMO mouse, you want a Corsair RGB, Corsair Scimitar RGB mouse, it's £72. That's going to blow your budget way out. So the mouse is out of the question. This is the, show you a zoomed in view of the laptop in question. It's, you know, it looks alright. I like it. It's not flashy or anything, but, you know, it's pretty nice. It looks nice and clean. You know, I, I like the sort of matte grey finish that it's got and you know the monitor is a 1080p monitor it is a matte full 1080p IPS 1920 by 1080 what you want I've seen a few laptops for around the 500 pounds mark most of them with 720p monitors do we in 2016 want a 720p monitor that is the question <laughs> do we really want a 720p monitor Everything has gone 1080p these days. I think 1080 is the way to go. The 950M should do okay. It's got 2GB of VRAM, uh, DDR3 RAM, which is what you get in a laptop anyway. Uh, but it should run Star Wars The Old Republic well. Again, your processor is really down to how much you want to pay. Do you want to pay 593 or do you want to pay, what, 558? Really, it's down to that. Personally, I'd say it's worth it. It's not, it's not, not a huge amount extra, and I think it's pretty much worth it. But anyway. There you go. I don't have a huge experience with gaming laptops, so yeah, and apologies if anything is wrong. But anyway, that is all for this video. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you again soon, and goodbye.